We need a fancy lit. Clayton, relax. You just point the stud and then back up until you're in the exact position. I mean, I understand what it does, but it's like, I mean, what you're doing is easy peasy. You string a tape out and you read the numbers on it. All right, before you do that, so we're stamping enzyme, enzyme treatment, good. Floor, no longer cat pee. Now the next step is uh, we're going to measure out and mark where the position of the walls are gonna be on the new floor plan with the uh, chalk line. Cause we need to figure out where all this plumbing and drains and everything else is gonna go because we're running a jackhammer tomorrow. So we're gonna mark out all the walls, figure out where we need a jackhammer. Um, the drains that are not in correct locations, which will be all of them, will just get filled in with concrete most likely. Um, and then we're just gonna jackhammer out paths where we need to put our new drains and our new just drains because the water lines will be in wall this time instead of in the slab. So yeah, I mean, it's literally just drains in the slab, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's the, the move going forward. So we're gonna go ahead and work on measuring this out and getting this wall marked. I'm gonna set this up here, do a little time lapse footy maybe. You know, I don't really have a camera person here. This is gonna be a two man job. All right, so we managed to mark the first wall. Let's see here. We literally just measured it out, made the marks on where they need to be on the endpoints, and chalk lined it. So that will be the exterior edge of the 2x4. So the 2x4 will run from here, two inches in, or whatever the actual width of a 2x4 is. I think it's slightly less than two inches. So that's where the wall base will be. Um, Clayton went to go get his computer so we can get precise measurements on whether or not we're on the inside or outside because this now angles into this at some point to pick up into the hallway and create a doorway. Um, we need to be certain that our measurement from that wall to this wall is to the outside of the two by four to keep the same uh, convention that we're using here. So we want to mark that outer edge out here. So he's going to get that to make sure that we're spot on with our measurement. We'll measure from that wall out, mark it multiple places down, measure the distance, chalk line that, and then just go point to point and chalk line that. And then we'll continue marking some lines. So I'll get back with y'all. We're just going to kill this now. I'm going to play some music. I'll come back once we got chalk lined. It's pretty straightforward. All right, back here. We've already spray painted out our jackhammer lines. But you'll notice that we're not jackhammering and we don't have a jackhammer. That is because these chalk lines that we spent all that time putting on the ground are incorrect. I don't think it's going to matter for the jackhammering, but we're going to be safe and make certain. You'll see Clayton standing over here with a laser tape measure now. We've given up on human inaccuracies and move into new human inaccuracies but you know this time yes. it's all about who's holding the tape measure all right so first measurements first things first Clayton let's measure wall to wall end to end two by four to two by four we also brought a nice little laptop station over here so we can adjust the floor plan as we're taking legitimate measurements to make sure it's as accurate as possible I take like three measurements cross house. Okay. Yeah. Take them all. I'm gonna strap this thing up on my head and just walk around. 
Maybe you should be strapping this up on your head since you know you're doing the measuring. Should I fire up the Andreas? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, son of a nutcracker. What was I thinking? And then take three measure points. Go left side, middle, right side. You're the computer guy, man. Cool. You're supposed to know these things. <laughs> Very spacey. Dude, that thing's so cool. Yeah, you're all, you're dead center. Are you tell me it bows out? 54 and a quarter. So you had 54 and a quarter, 54 and a quarter, and 53 and something? 53, 11, and 1 eighth. 53, 11, and 1 eighth, and then 54 and a quarter, 54 and a quarter. The other part, too, is like, so, I don't know if we should try to account for this. So see when I set this flush, it sticks out. Oh. Yes. That's important. Where does it tell you to set it when you're shooting? Does it tell you? I didn't read the manual. But you just been winging it? Yeah. Wait, you want me to get the manual? Uh, yeah, does it have like, because maybe it has built in like something. Does it have like a mark on it or anything? You think I have lithium over here? All right, you figure that out. I'm gonna hook up these Andreas. It has pictures of what we're talking about. Does it? You just gotta figure out where its zero point is. You've been measuring all this stuff, spitting out numbers this whole time, and we don't even know if it's accurate. Not yet. We haven't recorded anything. <laughs> I'll switch on the measuring tool. I'm measuring at the rear edge of the measuring tool. It's always a reference point for the measuring that is being taken. Oh, the rear edge. Oh, you see? You see? That's an inches different. Okay. Okay. All right. Whoa. So. Rookie move. There you go, Andrea. Right. Just for you. Oh, man. That makes lining up the dot way easier, too. Now just look at the screen. And just make sure it's level whenever you shoot it. Or as close to level as you can get it. Fifty-three, seven, and five eighths. That is significantly different than what you've been saying this whole time, Clayton. Fifty-three, seven. Yeah, yeah. That tells me this hallway is way smaller too than we thought it was. Oh yeah. Well, this made for an interesting night. So we finally decided to pull the trigger and get the jackhammer that neither one of us know how to use, and we were going to start jackhammering up some stuff. But we couldn't keep the daggum chisel in there. So Home Depot doesn't tell you anything when you rent. They just expect you to figure it out. We watched some YouTube videos. I don't know if you can see down in here or not. This retaining latch that's supposed to hold the chisel in is broken inside and it doesn't hold anything. The chisel just falls right out of there, no matter how far down you go. So we're gonna take this back in the morning, tell them it's broken, and get no jackhammering done. Go somewhere else for a different one. Uh, they only had one. Naturally. Well, <clears throat> gonna just do some more measuring, I guess, tonight. It's not even holding the chisel. Be 
you can't move it. Yeah. Hard to move. Not the perfect way to use it. You could at least get some use out of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I think take it back tomorrow and say, hey, no nuts. It's get broken. a piece of shit that won't hold the damn thing. Maybe we can we'll get more you time. Another 24 hours. Mm -hmm. And whatever whatever you've accomplished with this gets accomplished for free. I like where your head's at. Yeah, it makes sense. It seems to cut through real good. Yeah. yeah. At, least, at least in the middle. You noticed I did. Uh, I kind of ran it deep over here, mm -hmm. and then I had to like work it back and forth to get it out. Wow. All right, who wants to try it next? Wow. I'm out of breath watching you bring me. Oh no. Little boy versus jackhammer. Keep it bro. Yeah, that's the all the work is lugging it all weird. Yeah. It's pretty all. beast. All now right. we need to try the, the real stuff. <laughs> Seems to work pretty good. Just yeah. uh -oh. That's what I was worried about right there. Is it gonna make a poo poo smell come in here? No, the poo poo mm -hmm. smells would already be in here because both the shitter holes are open. Oh. Mm -hmm. But he had the tanks pump, and in the amount of time to get rid of the cat pee smell, the poo poo smell died off. Mm -hmm. Good. That thing's pretty beast. It is pretty boss, man. Thank you, Shane, and that uh, that thing aren't meshing very well. <laughs> so, are we you want me to give you a ride to the tractor? Put all that stuff in the dumpster? Well, should we? Make it way 10 times? Does it make sense to do uh -huh. the cleanup later and jackhammer first? I mean, we could try and come off from where the, the bathtub is just to see. Good. So, what did y'all figure out why the lines were off? All the minutes. No, everything was just off a little bit. The whole, the whole floor plan's off. Clean's rebuilding the entire floor plan. The actual. We had our inner, inner wits. <laughs> yeah, it's off by a couple inches. Went to Home Depot this morning, showed them this broken jackhammer that they gave us, and it turns out we're just retarded. The latch goes that way. And it Bam. works just fine. Now it's in there perfectly a okay. <laughs> <laughs> no bits falling out. <laughs> hey, I will tell you though, the Home Depot guys were nice enough to reset the clock on the rental. We didn't waste money. So we haven't wasted money yet, so we're going to push forward. Um, this time without the bit falling out every 25 seconds. And see what we can get done. Should I go get myself some titties, dude? Pit Viper's for extra safety. This shit like sparks up. Does it? Mm -hmm. Proud to see. I think I think I didn't get to see any of this yesterday, so I'll be watching carefully. It matters what direction you go. I, you want to start by these holes they've already made for sure. Just try and break it off in like into the pits, you know. Oh, look at that. Who would have thought it? Much better. I think this is the cracking is clean. Uh, well, what I'm wondering is, I think at this point, would it behoove us to swap like hole to the hole to the left and then try and clean this out, what's broken? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And then just go back and forth. Because I'm thinking that what happened is, is it was breaking real clean up here mm -hmm. where this edge was exposed. 
but now it doesn't have anywhere to break too. So it's just collapsing on itself. Okay. I don't think you're gonna get it like that. I think we need to go get some shit. I have the sledgehammer in there, which like basically finishes the brakes. I'm almost thinking of the flat shovel maybe. Oh, look at that. Hell yeah, brother. Oh, this is gonna suck. Are those kids all still over there? <laughs> oh, that's so much nicer. Here is your gloves, and you're gonna want a pair of these probably. These here, clears. Oh, yeah, oh, you have, you have regular glasses on. These may go over them, but I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure those are safety grade, right? They're yeah. safety grade, but they don't go over my glasses. I meant your glasses. Huh? Your glasses are safety grade, right? Oh, uh, no. What? Why would I get my glasses safety grade? Because you're a worker. So. There's no way I'm going to be able to live. Dude, you can do this, Brittany. We all have faith in you. Um, so you want to be like... I don't know if you're going to be able I just don't know if she's going to be able to pick it up and shift it. I'm well, not. we're about to find out. Ah, oh, dude, you're stronger than you look. Come on. Do you want to try? Uh, it's like the floor sander, but not... Oh, I know, that's why I'm there is no safety on this one. You just press that trigger to go. Just give it a light. Hold on tight. Don't be scared. Remember, confidence is key, Brittany. There you go. Going straight down. Okay. Now just give it. I can't see if it's straight down or not. You're good. Give it a little tap. Hold on tight. See how it fits. Oh, it got unplugged. <laughs> I was like, are y'all sure yeah. there's no safety on this? <laughs> the, the stress levels were real. She's like, oh god. Plug it in, where's your hand at? Feel it out. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, alright. Now wiggle it back and forth, kind of. If you can. Alright, let's pick it up. Pull it out of the hole. Oh, um. <laughs> jerk it! Oh, it's stuck. Oh, you're close. Oh, hey, okay, rip that out of the hole for her. She picked. You put her in a bad spot. It didn't crack all the way. There you go. Yeah. Try that spot right there. That'll break right on through. Yeah, you want it kind of close to the edge because that's how it breaks it. It'll crack all the way through. Look at that! There you go. You did it! Woo! This is the hardest part, really. <laughs> you got a big oomph? Ah, you got it. Look at you! I think you can do this. Next now I just do the rest of it. Y'all yeah. are gonna have to lift it. There's no way I'm gonna lift that shit. <laughs> well, My damn. arms are already tired and I only did it twice. <laughs> <laughs> I started doing this leg kick thing. I, yeah, that's what I was doing last night when I was trying to keep the bit in. It was just kicking the bit with my foot, mm -hmm. using my foot to lift it. <laughs> All right, it's been a while since I've checked in. How goes it? We hate the jackhammer. <laughs> we hate it. This thing is brutal. Ooh. Oh my god. All right, so here's here's what we managed. Let me grab this light over here. <laughs> <laughs> we started off thinking, oh, this isn't even that bad. And then slowly but surely, it felt awful. We started so, cheating with the tractor. Yeah. So you see there's still 
this much patio left. But we got this all done. So we're going to actually try and get all the wire out of here and then scoop all this up with the tractor bucket once we support the roof from the outside and then just go put it in the driveway. But uh, yeah, we learned quickly. This is no easy task. Literally and figuratively backbreaking. <laughs> All of our helpers kept showing up and then disappearing. So basically it was just me and Clayton for this whole time. <laughs> Corey did better than most. Uh, we got the tile in here jacked up. You notice we haven't even touched the floor really. We got the we got the shower pad here knocked out and the drain out uh all the toilet shits out so this can get filled in um so yeah that leaves us like this plumbing which we're taking the jackhammer back in the morning and uh another concern that we realized uh when our dumpster man arrived uh the there's a limit on the weight of those dumpsters so we're gonna let them come empty it before we jackhammer any more of that patio up. We got a lot of concrete there. There's a lot of concrete in there. We may be breaching the limitations. Um, so, yeah, the new plan is uh, take tomorrow off to die, and then Monday get the mini excavator and dig up the septic in the back. Once the septic's dug up, then we'll rent the saw to saw out these runs in here for the plumbing. We're gonna run like 18 inches wide probably to have plenty of room down all of our where the plumbing is going to go and then we'll re-rent the jackhammer knock out these trenches inside knock out the rest of that front porch so it'll end up being a two-day jackhammer rental for this whole process that's not terrible still cheaper than buying the cheapo harbor freight one which i think would have killed us more yep but all right we're wrapped up we're gonna go die by the fire yeah.